Of course, we have a question for everybody here. At what point is the new year no longer new? Essentially, when do you stop saying Happy New Year? Now, this is something you all might remember, a classic episode of Seinfeld. They tackled this issue in the opening scene. Look at this. Do you believe I got Happy New Year today? It's February. I once got Happy New Year in March. <laughs> it's pathetic. <laughs> oh, so we yes. do you. When do you stop? A show of hands in here, you say you should stop saying it on January 2nd. <laughs> January 2nd? No, tough. okay. Wow. All right, Ginger. Oh, All right, how many oh. would say you stop saying it the first week? After the first week of January, <laughs> January. Now, how many well, say... If you see somebody you haven't seen for a That's long time... Is that what it is? George, you no. and the logic all the time, man. <laughs> <laughs> how about, how about that the makes moment perfect sense. that you start actually writing down your checks? That's like, enough. when you start to get it up. Now, does anybody say you should do it the whole month? Yeah. No. Some say the whole month. All right, so here are the results. Gender, 22% say, this is from a poll from a, a British newspaper, 22% say January 2nd, that's it. Yes, We need to end it. Strictly. Now, 63% say you should go through the whole month, through the whole week, excuse me. The whole yeah. week is okay. All right. Maybe. And that's the majority, but only 15% say you should go through the whole month. But George, to your point, you're right. If you see somebody, a friend that you haven't seen, Happy you know, year. January 15th, you can yeah. still say, hey, By the way, how is that an offensive thing to say to yeah, right. anyway? I don't know. It's just You're like, wishing it's, them it's happy. Take it up with Seinfeld. It's prolonging it. It's not an offensive know. statement. But does 2017 still have that, that, that New Year smell to it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You still feel yeah. that? Not to me. It's still the, not to no, you. No, it's, it's old. Like, we may as well go forward. Wow. Did <laughs> <laughs> you take your Christmas tree down on December 26th? Yes. yes. Okay. I thought. Okay. Very, very quickly. Holiday's over. Done. Done. It's not done until the college football national championship is done, and that is tonight. Jesse Palmer down live in Raymond James Stadium in Tampa, Florida. Number two Clemson Tigers taking on the number one Alabama Crimson Tide. How's it going, Jesse? George is going awesome. We're getting hyped for the national championship game. The energy here is just electrifying. We're going to send that energy back to you guys in Times Square Studio with a little wave. You guys ready to do this? Yeah! Three, two, one. Yeah! Total Tom, fail. great job. You got that done in here. <laughs> <laughs> so, Jim, Jim, but Jesse, if, uh, take us inside the mind of these players right now. It's a lot of pressure. You know, I think it's really, yeah, a really special day for them, though, George. I think it's all about reflection and it's all about focus. I think so many of those players are thinking about the journeys getting to this moment here tonight. All of the hard work, all of the workouts, all of the sacrifices, and finally the focus. It is every college player's dream to play in the national championship. They are going to leave it all out on the field tonight. Yes, you've got admirable focus. They're all waving those pom-poms right in your ear behind you. <laughs> You're getting it all out. <laughs> You're also surrounded by a lot of super fans down there. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty awesome. And there's going to be some great fans here. We're lucky in this game to have two of the better fan bases in any sport with Alabama and Clemson. I think in college sports, momentum is such a big deal. I know when I played at the University of Florida, I fed off of the crowd noise. I guarantee tonight it is going to be loud. It is going to be electric. It's going to be a fun show to watch. And you've also got Mitt and Jamison Ritter there with you this morning. Yeah, yeah, right here, guys. Come on in. We got Mitch. We got Jamison Ritter from Ohio. And these guys are big-time fans. I was saying, guys, I like football. You've seen 56 college football games this year, so I know you guys really like it. Why did you guys decide to do that? We've always taken road trips as brothers every year, and with the college football playoff growing larger and larger, we figured why not make this road trip our biggest road trip ever and involve our favorite sport, college so I, football. I got to ask you guys, you've seen 22 of the top 25 teams play in person this year, so you know what good football looks like. Who do you think wins tonight? I think Deshaun Watson and the Tigers get it done this year. He's going with Clemson. Brother, what are you thinking? I think, I think it's a no-brainer. Alabama for the Alabama. 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 You got a little bit of a sibling rivalry. Did you guys hear that? They, they think it's going to be a tie. What do you guys think? <laughs> <laughs> Clear answer. It looks like we can't tell from the fans. We can't even hear Jesse anymore. <laughs> Thank you as well. You can watch the college national championship tonight at 8 Eastern on ESPN.